Next to the area of fintech, many companies are increasingly serving emigrants as a new customer base. The refugee crisis is a case in point, with many people using technology to aid their migration and talk to family back home. Yes, one company making its mark on this market is Ding, the world's largest mobile top-up company. It specialises in cross-border transactions, allowing for emigrants to top up the mobile credit of friends or relatives back home. It has access to four billion phones and sends a top-up every second of every day. Well, Ding's chief executive, Mark Roden, who's also a uh, winner of EY, Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, joins us now. Uh, welcome to the programme, Mark. Thank um, you. Tell us about the, 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 the concept behind all this, because we think of emigrants sending remittances back to their loved ones back home. You think of relatively large amounts of money that they're going to spend on all manner of things. You don't necessarily think of mobile top-up. Well, that is the key difference and the key benefit that we offer, which is that if somebody wants to send home a large amount of money, remittance companies do that. But if you just want to send five pounds to somebody to their mobile phone instantly, in three seconds, to any one of four billion phones, that's where we come in. And it, I mean, it is a tough market out there. What differentiates Ding from uh, its competitors? Well, number one, we exclusively co concentrate on mobile phone top-up, so we don't do remittances. We specialise in small values. We're much cheaper than the remittance companies. And it's straight from the mobile phone or from your local store. How do you actually make money? I mean, if I send, you know, five or ten quid to a relative overseas, do they get all of that or do you take a commission? They get all of that minus a commission, which is about five to seven percent. And, I mean, we mentioned there that access to four billion phones, uh, which seems ex extraordinary. But, I mean, who is using the service? Where do you see uh, much of your, your, your users based? So, some of our biggest markets are in countries as diverse as Ghana, in Africa, right across to Nepal, uh, and then all, all the way across to Jamaica and Cuba. And it, it, sorry, is it countries where the sort of telecommunications network is advanced or, or is r relatively... Uh, it, it, it can be where, where we find great success is that people are finding it difficult to get small values home or indeed any value home. So the mobile phone networks might be good, but people can't get value to people who are outside of the big cities. It, it is really a fascinating area. I mean, we see in, in, in Africa, for example, where banking infrastructure is not as well developed as it is in the West, mm -hmm. mobile phones being used as a way of transferring money between people. I mean, do you see yourself eventually expanding beyond mobile credit into other kinds of mobile payments? Well, given that we're already now connected directly to 350 mobile operators, Operators. That has given us reach to 4 billion people. All of the workers abroad who are our customers are sending value back home to these. So we've got a great opportunity to look at different services. OK, Mark Roden, uh, winner of the uh, EY Entrepreneur of the Year and Ding's Chief Executive. Thanks for coming on the programme and Thank speaking you. to Thank us. Thank you.